definitely not a bass. It is, it's huge. All right, guys, welcome back. Another episode of Blue Fox Outdoors. I don't know when I'm gonna edit this one, but hopefully it'll be sooner than some of the other ones. Um, just been real busy with our business and haven't been able to quite get to the editing, but I've been out fishing. That kind of trumps anything else. Today I'm fishing a new stretch of river that I haven't done yet. I don't know how it's gonna go. Um, traditionally I fish further upstream than this. So we'll see. Um, usually the fishing always seems to get slower for us as we get closer to this point. So I'm hoping that maybe as I get further away from um, where we launched at, which is usually our takeout, the fishing will get better or progress. But this year has been kind of hit or miss. Everything seems to be a little bit later. So it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens, see if we can catch some fish. Just missed a bite. Come out of the middle. There's another bite. So I might have to switch to the square bill. It's always been my go-to when they seem to be short striking. All right. So there's one right at the boat. Little guy, but little skunk now. Wish I could get him on the fluke. This one fits pretty decent. Two on the fluke. Ha! Got him that time. Little one. But I'm not in a tournament, so it's all about fun. Okay, just a little guy. Probably the one that grabbed the tail before. Oh, that one grabbed it right when it hit the water. They didn't even have a chance to start reeling. Rod's actually meant for drop shots. I'm using for this lightweight fluke. There you go, a little bit better. A little bit better fish. Definitely makes it fun when they're on that light rod. And this is what I like about the setup with this fluke is it just goes right up the line, out of the way. You only lose them once in a while and that's after you've caught quite a few fish on them. This is a good fish. Good river fish here at least. I'm gonna get a picture with you, buddy. So they don't seem to be stacked in here thick yet. But so far I'm not gonna complain about the fish I've caught and the hits I've missed. Because the river's been pretty hit or miss so far this year, just the weather being so wonky, it being high, the flooding. So it's been hard to get some consistent waters out here. Hit it soft. Oh, 
guy. Still no red on the tail. But it didn't take long to get the bite on the spinner bait. Okay, apparently it's a spinner bait bite today. It's sitting right behind that rock. Two on the spinner base. Seems like a spinnerbait. Thank you, buddy. Not a big one, but another decent little smallie. A river smallie. There we go. Stuck him that time. There we go. This is what I'm after. This is a river smallie right here. No mark on his tail. Not a good fish. Skinny, but that's a kayak bass right there. All right. See how ambitious they are? See that? That little guy wanted that fluke that was pretty much half his size. <laughs> hey, another one moved, oh, moved right in there. Same spot where I just caught that bigger one. Same exact spot. want to come in. Try using that current against me. Huh. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. different fish this one's a bit heavier but also a bit longer look at that one it's a good good river smallie with a hell of a fight thank you sir glad I shortened that fluke took off not even quite an inch it's shallower than I thought Big, but another river smallie. There you go, little fella. Palm spot in the shade. Oh. 
another one. Square Bill Smalley. Nothing big, but I'm going a while without a bite. I'll take it. This doesn't feel like a bass. It's definitely not a bass. Definitely not a bass. It is, it's huge. Doesn't feel like a pike either. Oh, walleye. Big wally. Damn good walleye. Wow. That's a good walleye. Look at that thing. Oh. And he's gone. Apparently he didn't want to stick around for a photo op. A little bass on the square bill. Catfish. <sighs> About done, cat. Killing my arm. Come on, baby. Let's get you back over here. The biggest one, definitely not the smallest. He's got a belly on him though, he's been eating. So I love about this square bill, it's Lucky Craft 1.5, silent. Just plain catches fish. Oh, there's fish on there. <laughs>
really starting to fight good. Little buddy. Little smallie. Tail's getting chewed up. This is a river smallie right here. Little guy. Come here, little feller. Come here, little rock bass. So I'm just kind of slowly drifting down. I got the drag chains down just a little bit. Keeps me pointed downstream. Um, just kind of chucking the square bill at the bank. It seems to drop off really quick. So it bangs off of a rock or the bottom just a few times and then it's just open water. So hoping that we can pick up some more right off the bank here. Maybe that might be hiding behind a rock or in some of these weeds that are sticking up. Seems to be where I've been catching most everything is off the bank, uh, behind a rock, so, you know, a little bit of slack water. Like I said earlier, this water's high, it's a little bit muddier than it normally is which this river is never usually super clear um, once the weeds start coming up it does get a bit clearer I don't know I sometimes find it easier to fish in this dirty water fish don't seem to be as picky the hell was that? Man, whatever that was, it was big. Kind of wish it would have gotten more of the bait when it swiped at it right at the boat. The other hope is that I got it on camera. It'll be able to see what it was then. 